Hi, it's John Bauman again. Uh, let's go over the math part of the Keynesian model. As you know, John Maynard Keynes recommended for the government to increase its spending during times of uh, economic recessions or when the economy is slow or unemployment is high. So he would say, let's increase government spending. Now, what he also said in terms of the math part was that if you increase government spending, let's say you increase government spending by 50 billion dollars that there would be a multiplier effect so that the change in total spending in the whole economy you could think of that as GDP gross domestic product or total national income so the GDP wouldn't just uh, increase by 50 billion the government spending increase but it would increase by something more three four five times as much not a multiplier is dependent on how much people on average are saving so there it's dependent on the MPS the marginal propensity to save now if the marginal propensity to save is let's say 20 percent so if this MPS is 20 percent so that this multiplier this whole thing here is equal to 1 over 0 0.20 1 over 20 percent which would be 5 then the change in total spending is 5 times 50 billion or 250 billion dollars. So if you get a multiple choice question that says that the government increases spending by 50 billion dollars, the MPS is 0.2, which then you know the, that the multiplier is 5, then you can find the change in total spending in the whole economy, 50 times 5. Now some problems will not tell you the NPS, but they will tell you the MPC. Well, the, the relationship between the MPC and the MPS is that the MPC is 1 minus the MPS. So if the MPC is, let's say, uh, if the MPC is 0.8, then you know that the MPS is 0.2. So you just fill in the blanks here. So if the MPC is 0.8, the MPS is 0.2. The MPS, by the way, is also uh, the uh, 1 minus the MPC. So they, the, uh, the two of them, MPC and MPS, have to add up to 1. So a problem might say the MPC is 0.8. Government increases spending by 50. Then uh, with the MPC of 0.8, you can figure out that the multiplier is 1 over 0.2. It's also 5. And then you will be able to get the change in total spending. Some multiple choice questions will actually give you the change in total spending. So they might say that we have a recessionary gap of $500 billion. In other words, we need to increase GDP or the change in total spending by $500 billion. And let's say that the question also says that the MPC is, let's make it 0.75 here, which will tell you that the MPS is 0.25, which means that the multiplier is 1 over 0.25, 1 over the MPS, is equal to 4. So now we have two parts of our equation. So we have the 500 billion is equal to 4 times, and then the thing we have to figure out is the change in total government spending. Well, 500 billion is 4 times something. What you can do is take the 4 to the other side, so it'll be 500 divided by 4, and that would uh, equal 125, so 125 billion. So the answer to the, that question would be 125 billion, because 4 times 125 is equal to 500. Now Keynes also said that in instead of changing government spending, uh, we can also change taxes. So in times of a recession, when the economy is slow, we can also lower taxes, so we can have a change in taxes. Now, with a change in taxes, if you wanted to figure out how much total spending is going to change by, we have to take the change in taxes and multiply it by a tax multiplier. A tax multiplier is a little different from the regular multiplier, and the relationship is, is, is here. The tax multiplier is equal to the, the regular multiplier minus 1 officially with a negative sign in front of it. So for example, if the regular multiplier is 5, 
we just subtract 1 and put a minus sign in front of it, so it would be minus 5 minus 1 is 4, so it would be minus 4. So then if you have, let's say, a decrease in taxes of $40 billion, so the government, let's say, is going to decrease taxes by $40 billion. Multiply that by this tax multiplier, let's say if it's minus 4, then you get minus 4 times minus 40, actually gets you a positive number, which is what we want, because we want to increase total government spending in the whole economy. So we get plus 160. So total spending, or you can think of that as GDP, will go up by 160 if taxes decrease by 40 and if the regular multiplier is 5. So let's say that you get a multiple choice question with some specific numbers. It tells you here that the government spending increases by $250 billion. The MPS is 0.25 and your you are asked to figure out what uh, the change in total spending in the whole economy, um, or GDP, how much that changes by. You can see the four choices here. Feel free to pause the video if you want to take a look at them and take some time to figure it out, and then I will explain the answer. Okay, so we know that the equation is that the change in total spending in the whole economy is equal to the multiplier times the change in government spending. So let's figure this out. The change in government spending, which is given right here, let's put that in yellow here. Change in government spending is 250 billion. So 250 billion times the multiplier. Now the multiplier we have to figure out because we are given the MPS, but the multiplier is 1 over the MPS. So that's 1 over 0.25, which is equal to 4. So, the change in government spending times 4 gives us the change in total spending in the whole economy. So that, of course, is equal to 1,000 billion. So, answer C here is the correct answer. In this problem, we are asked what the change in total spending will be if taxes increase by 70 billion and the MPC is 0.875. So this is a new question and you can see here the choices are given here so you can pause the video and see if you can figure this out on your own. Okay, so let's try to figure this out. Well from uh, the slide a couple of minutes ago we, know that we saw that the change in total spending in the whole economy change in spending in the whole economy, let me abbreviate the change with that triangle, the delta sign, spending an entire economy, is equal to the tax multiplier times the change in taxes. Now we know the change in taxes because it's 70, so we can say this is going to be 70, it's plus 70 billion. And if we only knew the tax multiplier, then we can multiply those two together and get the change in total spending in the whole economy. That would be the answer. Now, the tax multiplier is equal to the regular multiplier minus 1 with a negative in front of it. So the tax multiplier, hmm, now what's the regular multiplier? Regular multiplier, the formula for that was 1 over the MPS. Now, we don't have the MPS here, it's the MPC that we have. So we got to figure out the MPS. Well, we knew that the MPS was 1 minus the MPC. So it's 1 minus the MPC here. So now we can do 1 over 1 minus 0.875. 1 minus 0.875. And that is equal to 1 over 0.125. And that is equal to 8. So the regular multiplier, this one here, is 8. So the tax multiplier is 8 minus 1, with a negative in front of it, is equal to minus 7. So now we know that the tax multiplier is minus 7. We multiply that by 70, and then we get the answer minus 490, 70 times, or minus 7 times 70 minus 490, so answer D is the correct answer here.